do not publish your books on KDP if you do not have A plus content ready for them. Now we all know this robot who has time for everything. Now Amazon is giving us no excuse with this AI generator inbuilt inside A plus content generation. So check your KDP account. Do you have it? I'm counting since they did not say it is a beta thing and there is no yellow warning as usual on the top. So more or less everyone will get this soon and let's find out what it is and what can we do with it. If you do not know what is a plus content, that is an additional marketing option. So this is an example of uh, one book of mine. And then if you scroll down, this section here is actually what we call a plus content. So this is something extra that you can add. Usually it is used to showcase your book interior better. So people can actually see what is inside, what's included in the book. And also you can add some promotional features. You can add uh, collections of your other books. So if your book is part of a series, you can add that here as well. So people can automatically buy entire series if they want. So let's go to our KDP accounts and see, do we have this A plus content generation? So if you go to your KDP account and go to marketing tab and under A plus content manager, this is the page that's going to lead you to it. At the moment, we all have this warning. This is something new. They are no longer going to allow you to add multiple uh, comparison charts on one A plus content. So starting next month, uh, so after 30 days, they're going to delete all the extra comparison charts and they're going to leave you only one. So at the moment, if you want to have some control over what's going to be shown, you need to go to your A plus content manager and delete all the extra comparison charts. So let's, but let's see what is this AI uh, generation tool and let's see, do we have it? So click on start creating A plus content. Here we can add a name. I'm going to choose AI Pets for the name of this A plus content. And then we're going to click on add module. And it's going to show us various options. And you will see that some options, they have this AI ready mark. So not all of them, all the modules have AI ready, but some of them have AI ready tab. So let's select one of these. I'm going to choose, I'm going to choose, I'm going to choose. I do not want, I do not like this one and this one where the text overlaps the image. So I'm going to choose this one. So standard single left image. I'm going to click on this one and you will see that it has AI ready note. If you click on I, so the information, you're going to have this a detailed description about the AI ready generated content. Now you can generate images and text and they are saved to your media library. You can also return multiple images to choose from your media library. This one, I selected this one. This is one of my Sudoku uh, books. And let's scroll down to get Asin. So that's here. And let's go back here. And once you click, let's turn this off. Maybe we can keep it on or it's going to disappear once I click. Oh, it's going to stay here. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to leave this here. So if you want to read it, if you still do not have it, you can check it out. So once I clicked on generate content, it is asking me select elements to generate content. When finished selecting, click generate content for selected. So I'm going to try with select all. And now I have this yellow button that's telling me to generate content. And now it is asking me to enter ASIN value. So that's that number I just copied. So enter ASIN to generate relevant content for this module. Once generated, you can edit or regenerate content until you are satisfied. Here it is asking me to write text prompt. So for the text prompt, I'm going to put uh, entertaining Sudoku puzzle book with romantic couple. Uh, maybe that's uh, that's okay. And it's asking me you uh, to use image as a prompt. So if you select one of these, 
it is going to actually use the cover image to generate uh, some kind of mock-up within the image itself. So that's the options. You can also deselect this or you can use it. You can use the front cover or back cover in your mock-up. So that also means that you can create one image with the front cover and then create another image with the back cover as well. And then it's giving you option that the image background style to be realistic or abstract. I'm going to choose realistic. And for this image description, I'm going to uh, say um, tropical beach, palm trees, sunset. That's it. Here you can also add image themes. So I'm going to scroll here to find the best one. So you have Christmas, you have uh, Halloween, you have science fiction, okay, you have tropical. So I'm going to select tropical. Also, it's giving you option to add a reference image. So you can upload an image and they're going to use that to create their own variation. And after you type all of this, click on generate content. And it is usually maybe one or two minutes to generate. And we're going to see what's we, what we're going to get here. So as we wait for this AI Amazon generator tool to generate, I want to say everybody, welcome back to my channel. I know I did not post anything for a long time. I'm still alive. I actually took some time to find out just how exactly you can uh, make KDP more profitable than the standard uh, couple of uh, dollars every day. And I actually started a new brand. I opened a couple of new stores. I have a new pen name that is working very well. I have a couple of new websites. Okay. And uh, yeah. And I'm, now I'm going to be back. I also moved my uh, studio to a different location. So this is actually my first video. I just actually hooked up my mic to record this video. So uh, I have no idea how this is going to turn out. So let's see what we have here. The content has been partially generated. Some content was not able to generate. You can manually add missing content or try regenerating it. Okay. So the image... Uh, I'm not happy with it, so I'm going to deselect. Okay, this is just title. The headline, they just took the title of my book, so okay, that's nothing. They didn't generate any body text, and they didn't generate image I'm happy with, so I'm going to try to do it again. I'm going to use uh, same sunset drop. Tropical, tropical beach, romantic, romantic night. Yeah, that should be it. And here, really, this is okay. I don't know what what you want from me. Come on, and generate something useful. I believe the first time I tested it, it was better. Yeah, but it removed. You see, this is this is when I've just 10 minutes ago when I first tested this, it gave me much better description. So our Sudoku puzzle book is the perfect way to reap these benefits while also enjoying hours of fun and challenge. So don't wait to get your copy today and start improving your brain power. And I believe I use the same prompt. So maybe, okay, so it's still generating. This image is, um, yeah, it's not good. So let's, try uh, I don't know is it going to be is it going to mix because this is basically for the same book and I have two tabs open okay okay this is um, yeah okay I'm not liking the image I'm not liking the image let's try it one more time generate content let's try it one more time as you can see it's not the best it's not actually uh, something that you're going to, okay, one click and you're going to get the best results from the, from the first time, from the first go. But like I said at the beginning, you should not publish your books if you do not have A plus content ready for them. If you do not have time to create A plus content, if you are busy, 
using this AI ready tool by Amazon, it, it is at least going to give you something that you can show off for your A plus content until you have time to create a real professional A plus content that's going to show your book content cover and interior in best way for your marketing. Now, okay, I like this one. Okay, this is clearly AI. Oh, I wish I could delete this. If if this if they just did not include this section here, it would be great. So maybe I should I don't know. Maybe I should generate content. Maybe I should just remove entertaining book with romantic cover. Okay, and uh, sunset tropical romantic. Uh, flowers I'm going to try to sand beach I'm going to try to force it so it doesn't include the actual random image of the book but what else I just uh, realized is that you can also add image of your interior here so it's going to create a mock-up with your book interior as well so you can you actually use that as well so you don't have to use just your book cover and back cover you can add image upload image of your interior and then you can generate mock-up using this generation tool and then you just save this a plus content and it's going to be usually it's published in a couple of minutes if this is your first time using the a plus content manager it's going to take a couple of hours but if you used a plus content manager a lot usually it the approval takes just a couple of minutes maybe 10 15 minutes and then your a plus content is approved and it is automatically visible on your book and on your kdb account Let's see, is this going to work? Well, I've, I'm trying to get something useful here so I can actually publish it to see how long it's going to take to approve the images. Again, okay, never mind. I'm just going to actually, I'm going to just copy paste this text here and I'm just going to click approve. That's it. I'm just going to click approve. Done with generating content. Okay. Um, preview. Okay. Okay. Next, apply asin. Where is the asin? Asin, asin is here. Copy. Let's type it in, select, apply content to this book, and next, review and submit, and click submit for approval. Blah, blah, blah. It says here seven days, but usually it's, they are giving them. Okay, so it's telling me your content contains specific words that may be cause for rejection. You may still submit the content. However, it may be rejected if the specific words are deemed invalid. Okay, I have no idea what that means, given that you generated all the text, Amazon. But we shall see. Hey guys, so I went back to see what was the issue with the, that warning the, the Amazon gave me. And it says one or more words in the submitted document required manual review. These words are naked. So what this actually means is that the naked is going to make this review longer. But in this case, naked is the actual term that we use in Sudoku when inside the puzzle grid you have a number that is missing, of course, from the puzzle grid but you can actually guess or not guess, you actually know what the number is automatically by using all the other numbers or rules available. So there is only one single possible digit in that cell and that cell automatically means that it is a naked uh, number. So it is a naked single. So naked single is the actual official term for a Sudoku cell that has only one single digit possible that can be written inside of it. So I believe for that reason, because of the word naked, the approval of this uh, 
A plus contact is going to take a little bit longer, but I've shown you how to use it. So if you have this AI ready tab, go and check it out. Why not use it to generate A plus content for all the books that you did not include A plus content? It's always better that your books have A plus uh, content. And that's it. Until the next video, I'll see you down below in the comments. Hopefully now that, that I have my mic set up, I'm going to record more videos. And uh, yeah, okay. Until the next video. Goodbye, everybody. Take care.